everyone thank you so much for joining me here today i'm so grateful in today's video i wanted to talk about what happens to people any person including your specific person what happens to them when you are affirming about them when you are visualizing about them when you are living in the end state of whatever reality you have chosen which includes people so this is also going to include the concept everyone is you pushed out and how that exactly works now is this concept actually true that everyone is you pushed out yes it is a hundred percent true but again you would find a lot of different perspectives to it and in this video i'm going to share my perspective on how everyone is you pushed out on how your reality actually is a reflection of you whatever goes on within you your beliefs your emotions and your thoughts so what happens when you are affirming what happens when you are trying to bring yourself in that end state when you have taken on that personality and you now are that version that has your desire right when you are affirming visualizing put in any technique over there that is bringing you to that end state you are rewiring your mind you are rewiring your thought patterns okay you are replacing your old belief system with new favorable beliefs around that specific person around any other person around any other materialistic object that you are you know wanting to materialize in your reality so you're rewiring your thought pattern you're rewiring how you see that thing or person you're rewiring your entire belief system about them now again you are not manipulating anything outside manifestation conscious creation creating your reality is not manipulation you are not going out there and physically forcing people to do something you're not doing anything you're not even focusing on changing anything outside you are changing yourself you are changing the version you are in you are shifting when you shift your state of being to that version that has your desire you're just shifting your reality you're shifting your state of being you have a lot of versions you have many versions okay and whichever version you choose and align with that is the reality you're going to create that is the reality you're going to attract so you're never going outside and doing anything you're shifting yourself you're shifting your inner world you're shifting your inner beliefs your thoughts your emotions and then you're matching yourself with the reality you're trying to seek so when you really persist in the process and i am talking about actual persistence not sometime here sometime there and you know doing it without discipline and not taking it seriously and then you know complaining about it's not coming it's you know been so many days it's been so many months why is it not happening because you are desiring it but you are not actually putting in the work you need to put in the work so when you put in the work the actual persistence where you have saturated your mind with the end result where you know this is coming this is mine and your dominant focus is always on yourself and you are not giving out reactions to the circumstances and you are not having dominant fearful or doubtful thoughts and the time you are not living in the end state you are not doing techniques you are neutral you are not engaging in opposing thoughts that is the kind of persistence and discipline i'm talking about so if you are doing that and it has become so real within you then those affirmations or whatever you're trying to do those visual scenes those affirmations any kind of inner conversations imagination whatever it may be whatever you're trying to do is going to reach that specific person is going to reach whichever person it's supposed to reach for example if you are trying to manifest a specific person and you are doing these affirmations around they miss me and they are messaging me all the time and my morning starts with them messaging me and my day ends with them messaging me and they are always talking about meeting me wanting to see me if those are the affirmations you are doing then that will reach that person it will reach them because that's how it works that's how everything works once you align yourself to that version that knows this is what i want to experience and in this moment i am experiencing it and i know it's here it's mine everything will transform to ensure that your desire comes to you in the most perfect way possible 
It's the same with specific person. It's the same with anyone involved in any manifestation process. Even when you're trying to manifest materialistic things, there are people involved. You can never eliminate people from your manifestation process. If you're trying to purchase a car that is not available at the moment, or if you're trying to purchase a house for which your approval is pending, people are involved everywhere. So once you live in that end state that no, I need that house and my letter is approved. I have my approval. I have my approval. If you persist in that, whoever is responsible for that approval, maybe you don't even know that person. It does not matter. Your end goal is the approval letter. Whichever people are involved in that process will be compelled to do that. Your letter will get approved no matter who is the person responsible doing it. Similarly, with a specific person, if the affirmations which I was mentioning earlier, if that is your end state, you're living in it, you're enjoying it, you know, you know that your main focus is here, you're not getting bothered by the 3D circumstances, you're not waiting for it, you're not stalking the 3D, all of that. They will be compelled to do something about it because it will reach them. Those affirmations are going to reach them and they are going to have this urge to either think about you, message you. It comes to them as an idea and they think it's their idea. It comes to them as a random thought. They will feel like, oh, this was random. Why am I thinking about this all of a sudden? The more and more you're persisting in that end state, for them, those visuals, thought patterns, urges are becoming regular and they think it's their idea and they think it's their urge and they think they are missing you. So they would be taking the action that's required for that end state that you are persisting in to come to you. So yes, when you're affirming, when you're doing techniques, when you're living in that end state, it is reaching that person as long as you are putting in the discipline, you are doing it consistently, you have the persistence, it is going to reach whoever it's supposed to reach. And that's how your circumstances change. That's how everything transforms around you. That's how you shift into the reality that is desirable to you. And no, there's nothing wrong with it. So many people say it's wrong to manifest a specific person just because you have put a face to it. Okay, even when you're trying to manifest a new relationship and you don't have anyone specific in mind, you're still trying to live in that end state of being in a relationship. You're still assuming and making your list that this is the kind of partner I want. This is how their nature should be. And these are the kind of things I want to do with them. And I hope they have the same hobbies and personality type. So you're still you're still doing that. It's just that when it's a specific person, you have put a face to it. So somehow people get this idea that no, it's wrong. Even though you're not going out there and actually physically and emotionally manipulating anyone, you're just shifting your own self. You're shifting your being and you have chosen a desire and you have chosen the person through which you want to desire that experience. There's nothing wrong with it. People are manifesting people all the time, all around the world, everywhere. That's how it works. As I said earlier, you can never eliminate people from your manifestation process. You want a car, you want a house, you want anything, you want a job and you want the interviewer to, you know, approve your application. People are involved everywhere. Even that's a specific person. If I gave an interview to someone and I am affirming after that, I'm being in that end state that that person is calling me and telling me that your application is approved, you will be hired. That is a specific person. Specific person has been hyped up around a romantic relationship. But any person that has a face and you know that something that has to happen would be through that person, you have chosen it. That is a specific person. So in my interview process, that person, that interviewer is a specific person. And I want them to approve my application. I want them to hire me. I hope they liked my interview. That is not manipulation. I'm choosing my desire of being hired in that company and that person is just a part of that process i'm not forcing them to hire me i'm not calling them i'm not doing anything i'm just in my end state and things around me will move around to ensure my desire comes to me so stay away from those kind of channels and people who try to guilt you around manifesting a specific person there's nothing wrong with it people are involved everywhere teenagers are manifesting their specific people all the time every day that's what life is all about you can manifest any desire you want as long as you're not harming anyone physically mentally emotionally going out there and manipulating your reality and you're just working on yourself shifting your state of being that is all that is needed
to ensure everything materializes in your reality in the most beautiful, natural and normal way possible. Okay, so that's all I wanted to discuss in that video. I really hope it adds value to your manifestation process. In case you have any kind of questions around this concept of everyone as you pushed out, you can drop it in the comment section below. I also have my Instagram linked below in case you're looking for a regular dose of motivation. Everything I discuss in these videos, concepts, terms are uploaded there in a written format. And in case you're looking for more content around self-development, I also have my second channel linked below. You can check out the videos there. If it interests you, you can subscribe to that channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great week.